my life. The, I, I do nothing else, it's just my life. I like it. It's only that I, uh, I don't like the fighting rules. I don't like the fighting rules, that's all. Because, because of K1, K1 spoil everything, the real fight. But the professional fight here in Holland, I really like it. Only they have to change the rules again. Five rounds with clinching, sometimes elbow, sometimes no elbow. That's what we like, and that's what we want to do. It's hard to say. Some people, they can have good boxing, no good legs. I like the complete fighters. Long, long time ago, I liked Petro Shan, but now he's finished. So I'm checking for Rosmala. He's boxing too much, not complete, you know. You have some good fighters coming up. I like complete fighters. Boxing, clinching, everything. We have two guys who are training with the kids. We used to train that, but we don't have so much time to work with the kids. I don't have the time. I have one, I fight, one guy I train with, Nasadin, but he's supposed to fight tomorrow. He's not fighting. He's a very good kid, but uh, we don't have so much time with the kids. So I do only the professionals. Women must fight because if you say they cannot fight, then you also can say that Olympic girls cannot run. They can run. Before they run the 100 meter, maybe 12 seconds. Now they run as fast as men. So the girls must fight, really. And maybe they become better fighters than the men because they fight not with muscles, with the brain and speed. And most men fight with muscles. So I think women must fight, really, because. In, uh, in the gym, most of the combinations we throw, the girls can throw it faster than the men. Not so powerful, but the combinations of the girls are faster. So I think they, they must fight. I think uh, Netherland is a is a very uh, quality level of uh, kickboxing worldwide. Um, I think it's about the way we think about the sport. We think uh, logical. We think uh, 
uh, we don't think too difficult, so means uh, we we are working on finding solutions. But it's not only in kickboxing; it's in all the sports we do, it's in business we do. We are a very small country, and we we are very improving in in, in many many things. This is, I think, our uh, how how we are. About Albert Kraus, is uh, it's very simple. Albert Kraus is an extremely talented guy. If you're 36 years old and you're still in the top of the division at 70 kilo weight class, it's very, very, very special. Somebody at 36 years old competing with the strongest in the world at 36 is something special. What I ask him, I say, Albert, what are we going to do? How are we going? He say, man, I feel myself good. As long as I feel good, as long as I like it, I'm not going to quit. So we're going to make the record with Albert Kraus probably to the oldest middleweight top fighter. Of course, uh, sport will always unite. And uh, in a lot of businesses, there is uh, problems between Russia and the Western world. But in sport, there's not. We have no problem. We work with Russian people. We train with Russian people. Even sometimes Russian people come to our gym. Sport unites everybody. So maybe all the big uh, government people should start uh, sporting together. You know, for all the fans around the world, support, support our sport as much as possible. Because we have a beautiful sport for talents, for people to unite. We do competition, There's not, there are not so many sports where people fight so tough together and go hand in hand out of the ring, like friends almost. You know, the respect what they become in the ring together is brilliant. How, so we should, we should work on a bigger sport, on a bigger thing. On the same moment, our student, my student, he gonna fight maybe the biggest fight ever in the history of kickboxing. So watch it on 10 December, Rico Verhoeven versus Badr Harris. Albert Krause is, uh, yeah, I always, most of the time I prepare very good and I'm very serious in training and uh, every time I want to improve myself uh, and show that I can be and I, that I'm the best. I think uh, in Netherlands, uh, from Netherlands, I came the best kickboxer in the whole world. Uh, from if you see the K1 and everything, uh, almost every time it were the, the Dutch people who will who win, who win the tournaments and everything. But uh, compared with the rest of the world, I think uh, the Netherlands are the best kickboxers in the world. Uh, the best fight I ever fought, uh, I don't know. Uh, I have already so many fights, but I know uh, some good fights with me were with, uh, with Sato, the Japanese guy, were some hard fights. I think uh, for the audience, maybe this were the best fights that I fought ever. Well, the, the toughest fights also. He was so tough, so uh, for the audience, will be, uh, was, was this a good fight? If I can imagine in my dream which, which match, uh, I will do again. I think uh, every match that I lost, uh, 
I want to uh, to show that I can can be the better fighter than uh, the, in the time that I lost. So uh, every lo lose fight, I want to do again if it's, if it was possible in my dreams. I train uh, normally for a fight. I train uh, every day, two times a day, and. Uh, in off season, like I feel now that I'm on the chill modus, then uh, I train one one time a day and not so serious. I only train with my students and on my own gym uh, and more more teaching lessons than uh, participate my lessons. But uh, then I'm still every day in the gym. Uh, yeah, the Kraus Trophy is, uh, is the Hurricane Trophy. Um, they named it uh, after me. Uh, and then every time I choose uh, a fighter who had a good fighting spirit and. Uh, as you see today, uh, the guy who I chose uh, had a good fighting spirit. Uh, I think uh, not always the winner is the best, the best fighter to view. Sometimes it's also uh, the fighter with the best fighting spirit uh, who the audience liked most. So uh, this is the the trophy, this uh, the meaning of the trophy for the fighter with the, the best fighting spirits and the hardest, uh, the hardest game of the night. Yeah, I want to the, thank the director from ACB and uh, of course my friend Soslan back to invite me again uh, and to uh, to name the trophy after me. After me. So uh, for me it's an honor to be here and uh, to give this trophy away that named after that named this after me. So uh, I'm very happy. Thank you for this. Я Шагирил Ибрагим Сайдевич. Работаю в бойцовском клубе Беркут тренером. Киоко Шин начал заниматься в юном возрасте. Киоко Шин формирует бойца дисциплинированным, воспитанным. И сам Киоко Шин это очень жесткий вид спорта. Я думал, мне будет сложно переквалифицироваться в кикбокс. Плавно мы перешли. И вот уже 4 года я работаю в бойцовском клубе «Беркут». И воспитали мы чемпиона мира, чемпиона Европы. И сейчас на профессиональном уровне у нас ребята 
боксирует, занимается. Профессиональный кикбоксинг – это уже более серьезный уровень, чем любительский. И спортсменам приходится тренироваться два раза в день. И это, в первую очередь, сон, питание, своевременные тренировки и дисциплина. Каждому бойцу индивидуальный подход нужен. Не каждому один ключ подходит. Есть агрессоры, есть технари. По-разному бывает. Каждого по-своему нужно подготавливать бой.